My name is Josh Ellsworth. I've been helping apparel businesses start and grow for the past 20 years. What I'm seeing in the market today in 2021 is that there are a lot of people that think they know how to print a shirt. The reality is there's a big difference in quality in what you can achieve from a craft style product to a professional grade. You don't need to give away all of your profit margin to a print on demand fulfillment house to get quality results. You can actually create these quality results in just a spare bedroom like I'm at here with the right equipment and the right know-how. In this video, I'm going to show you a product that will allow you to improve your profit, improve the perception of your customers when you deliver the product, and create pro quality results. So keep watching. The product we're going to show you how to heat print today, it's called CAD Prince Texture Twill. CAD Prince Texture Twill is not a vinyl at all. It's an actual fabric that can be heat applied to your garment with just a heat press to create durable results. Here's a look at CAD Prince Texture Twill on a hat that we're going to create together. Nice result, ombre effect, meaning you can do full color in the design, fades, and gradients, all with a heat press. Comes to you ready to apply. We're also going to show you how to make this fleece with the same design, a little bit larger. Again, the benefit of this product is it's pro quality. So when a customer receives it, it doesn't feel crunchy, it doesn't feel heavy. It's soft, flexible with the fabric that you're decorating, but also gives you that texture onto the garment, which achieves a higher, more in demand result. Let's go over to the heat press and show you how to make it. Now that you've seen a close-up of the finished result and what you can achieve, let's show you exactly how it was made. I'm going to start on my Hotronics Auto Open Clam. This is a 16 by 20 inch heat press size and I've loaded it with our special Tag Along Platen. This will help me to load my garment quickly and easily. I'm going to be decorating that same shirt we just saw, which is the Comfort Colors Crew Neck Fleece. I load the shirt onto the machine with the collar draped off of the edge. It's loaded perfectly straight, and I'm going to start with the preheat. The preheat will allow me to remove the moisture and wrinkles and also to adjust my pressure. A good heat press should not only measure time and temperature, but it should measure pressure. And this has a digital display readout for the pressure that reads a digit from 0 to 9 when you lock the machine down. The product that I'm pressing here applies at a medium to firm pressure. I'll pull out a fresh transfer to show you how it works. The CAD Prince Texture Twill product comes to you just like this. Everything pre-spaced for you. I'm going to remove the backing from the transfer to make the adhesive ready to go and to be positioned down onto the garment. Now something to keep in mind here is uh, everything is completely pre-spaced. And so I'm just going to position this down onto my garment into the print location that I'd like to hit and then I can cover it with a cover sheet if the sublimation ink uh, that's on the texture tool is exposed to the heater but since it has that carrier in between I'm just going to go ahead and lock the press down that will protect my heater for the full 20 seconds. Again the recipe comes with the transfer just make sure you set your heat press accordingly and I love this press because I can trust it to deliver accurate results every time. Once the application is complete, the press automatically opens, and then I can remove the backing from the transfer. Grab the corner. This piece goes in the garbage. And let's take another close look at our completed result. All right, and for our next item, we're going to decorate this seven panel cap with just a smaller version of the same design. To complete this job, we're using the Hotronics 360 IQ, which is a heat press for hats that heats from the top and the bottom attachment, which allows you to apply them accurately without damaging it. So first, I'm going to flip the sweatband out and just load my cap onto the press, lock the hold down device into place to get it to stay. Make sure it's nice and flush against the platen. At that point, I will take my uh, design, again, that's pre-spaced, position it onto the cap in the print location that I'd like. I'm 
For this recipe, I need to use an eighth inch foam cover pad. And then it takes 280 degrees on top, 320 degrees on bottom for 30 seconds. Just lock the press down into place. It'll count down and automatically open when it's complete. If I had a job that I needed to print for a dozen hats and a dozen sweatshirts, I could certainly run these two machines with one operator. Once the application is complete, I remove the white cover pad, remove the hat from the press, let it cool down, and then we'll go ahead and peel the backing together. So what do you think? Do you like the product that you've seen in this video? Do you think it's something you can implement in your business? Sure, you may need to upgrade your heat press, but I promise you, with the right equipment, you'll be able to achieve better professional quality results than other decorators in your town, allowing you to grow your business both locally and online. Here at Stalls, we help you do just that. If you're interested in more information about the product that we featured here today, or any of the products in our heat transfer lineup, all you need to do is click the link in the description. We offer free samples, we give the pricing guides online, you can learn how to really make money in your apparel decoration business. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and know, ask any question that you have in the comment section. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.